Hello everyone, welcome again to another video here on the Foxtech YouTube channel. This time we talk about the live photos and the topic is how can you save some photos from within the live photo? Well, uh, if I explain it to you like this, if you go to the app of the photos, you can see we have a live photo action going on right here. So if I hold down on the image, you can see that it does move. There are also instances where it moves a little bit more. So for example, here you, you've got a bunch of more movements. And if you want to grab a picture from those like videos or th this little sequence, if you want to take a couple of pictures out of that, here is what you need to do. Okay, so if you just want to take one picture, what you can do is just to click on that image, click edit, and at the bottom you have the cancel button uh, right here. You also have the live photo capability, so live photo editing, we're going to click on that, and you'll get to a section like this where you can just uh, make it shorter, enhance the length and stuff, just like if you were editing an actual video. So. This is uh, very useful, but you can also see uh, the little dot right there. And the dot represents a key photo. This is the photo which is uh, the um, uh, like the header image of the entire sequence. So in case you want to change it to something else, just grab the rectangle under it. See on the screen what you like about that image. And let's say I want to just make it go like this. Click on make key photo. And now when I hit it done, the photo the image of the photo representing it is going to be changed. So that's like how you can get the picture out of that, out of that sequence. And if you don't want to make the photo live anymore, you can just click on it and disa disable the live capabilities like this. No problem. And, but let's say you want to just get more pictures from that one video or from that one live photo. What you have to do in this case is click on the upper right corner and duplicate the image. So I'm going to duplicate it. I can duplicate it as a still photo in case I wanted to. Like right now, uh, let's say I just selected the key photo as I want it. Now I can duplicate it as a still photo and I just effectively took a picture out of that without any problem. So that's an option as well, but I'm going to duplicate it as a live photo. So this, this is something that I want to I want to do, of course. So it is here at the bottom. One here is without the capabilities. One is with the live photos. So I'm going to click on edit again, go to the live photo, and I'm going to make another key photo. Let's say somewhere in the middle, you can see a past key photos or the dots are right there. So I'm going to make a third one, the key photo right here, hit the done. And I have another new image. I mean, it basically looks the same because there isn't much movement, but as you know, and as you can tell, uh, the uh, movement is, or like the little position of the computer screen is a little bit different. So I just took a picture out of that live photo sequence. So this is something that I wanted to explain to you. But before we wrap up the video right now, I need to show you this. So this is Fox Tech educational platform. Here you can find other people which are learning about their devices as well. But in the classroom section, there are interesting topics to be discussed, like apps explain like full guides. If you don't know something about a specific app, you can check it out in here. There's also a free video editing course and more content being added in the future. So make sure to join it for free. The link is down below in the description. But this is going to be the end of this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe down below so you never miss future content and videos like this one. Thanks all for watching. See you guys later.